There is an invisible law called the law of attraction. God is attracted to a need. The law of God's attraction to your life is not what's fixed in your life, but what is broken. The very thing that you want to hide and cover up and you don't want anybody to know about your business because you got all these problems and you put on a plastic Christian face and come to church every Sunday and sit there and hallelujah, hallelujah. The very thing that you're keeping concealed and you don't want to have nobody know is the very thing, not what's fixed, what's broken. Broken is what attracts God. It ought to be the more God blesses us, the more we need Him. You know what will stop you from getting your miracle today? More than anything else, peer fear. What people think. When Jesus said to the man in the temple, stretch forth your hand who had a withered hand, he had to make a choice. Am I going to stretch forth my good manicured hand? Or am I going to give God my withered hand? And all the people were watching. The moment he decided to expose the wither part of his life to the master, the law of attraction kicked in. If he had raised the good hand, God would have found somebody else to give a miracle to. But the moment that he got real and said, I know everybody thinks I'm this, but in reality, my life looks like this. God sees our needs. Today, he's saying, bring to me the withered places, the addiction, the bondage, the fear, the dysfunction. Bring it all to me. That's why the Bible said that blind Bartimaeus was crying out and all of the, all of the people said, you need to be quiet, but he cried the louder. Why? Did he get a miracle because he had great faith? Did he get a miracle because he was, a, he was so spiritual? No, he got a miracle because he, he, he decided to expose the need in his life so loud that Jesus couldn't pass him by. He's drawn to your sorrow. He's drawn to your sickness. He's drawn to your brokenness. He's drawn to your emptiness. He's drawn to your hurt, your affliction, your suffering, your desperate need. He's drawn to it. He said, thus says the Lord, make this valley full of ditches. I'm saying to you today that when God told the prophet in 2 Kings in the middle of his need to dig a ditch, that's the law of attraction is stay empty, dig ditches. As long as there's a vessel that's to be filled, the oil will keep pouring. But when we say I'm full, it ceases. I don't know what you're trying to reach for. I don't know what your dreams and aspirations and vision is for your life. But you better dig a ditch and say, now God is so big that it's impossible for me to do it unless you come and pour yourself out on me. And there'll be this unexplainable thing and dynamic in my life that I really can't explain to people. All I can say is I gave what I had to God and I did what I could do and then God did what I couldn't do when I dug a ditch.